Okay, so now we're gonna talk about Inky Hair. This is for the project I worked on, X-Men Blue, number nine, where I'm making Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Angels, and a few other characters here. So what I'll do is I'll use a brush, ink, uh, the ink I'm using is uh, Speedball ink, and I'll start inking all the hair. I'll start doing smooth lines, and without further ado, here we go. I like to uh, dip the brush into a bottom ink and then kind of look for a black area either on another page or on on the same page and then I would just uh, kind of spin the brush on that black area and get the brush a uh, nice sharp tip. So here I'm inking Cyclops hair. Uh, I'll work on all the flows of the hair keeping in mind the thick lines and thin lines and then since I'm there I'm filling in the, uh, the black area of uh, the hair. Uh, some artists they will just do all the outlines, but I find that inking the hair and filling in the blacks at the same time you, you just save a step, uh, so you don't have to go back and fill in the blacks later. So here, just filling in the blacks, and so, oftentimes when I'm making hair, like strands of hair, uh, I will add a few more strands on my own, even though if it's not uh, penciled in earlier, I would just add a few strands on my own. It's nothing wrong with uh, having a few extra strands of hair so that was Cyclops hair now here's a uh, white queen's hair now pay attention how to how I ink the hair on the foreground I made that line thicker but on the insides I make those lines thinner I call those inside lines interior lines and then the, the outside lines I call those holding lines now you'll notice that some of the insides I'll make those lines thicker the reason I'm making those thicker is because I want that strand that bunch of hair to be popping out in the foreground so I'm making all these thinner lines on this hair and then right there right on that area I'll make that line thicker because I want that to pop out so inking some of her uh, face Now thin lines here, and then once I get to the neck, you see how I made that neck thicker? The reason for that is because I want the neck to pop out in front of the hair. Now those few strands of hair I also made uh, thicker uh, because I want that that strand of hair to pop out. Like right here, this is a Jean Greg's hair. On her bangs, I'll make the tips of it thicker but in between the tips on the inside of the hair, I make, I'll make those lines thin. Now, while you're inking, you also need to uh, think about line weights. The outside, right, right there, those few lines that I just added, those are called uh, line weights. I added line weights to the hair. I'll bounce the pin thicker and thinner. And then right here, some of the hair on the back. Okay, you see how I made that uh, line thicker? It's because I want that strip of hair to pop forward in front of the other hair. So when you're inking, don't just think about the outside of the hair. You also need to think about how hair flows, how hair flows in front of other hair. So here, uh, the angel's uh, hair. I'll make that line thicker because I want that, again, I want that uh, strip of hair to be popping out in front of the other hair. So, so when you're inking, you need to decide which part of the hair you want to be flowing forward and which part to be uh, staying in the background. See right there, that strip, I want that to be thicker. So I'm continuing inking some of the hair. Now when I'm making hair, I would uh, concentrate on the flow, making sure the lines are smooth and nicely curved. And to achieve that, I would do that in one stroke or a few strokes ink a partial line, go back and then add another partial line to create that nice smooth stroke. Making sure your that smooth stroke, that curve is continuous, that there's no break in between. So inking uh, Hank McCoy's uh, sideburns. So you notice I'm not just filling in the black, I'm inking in all those lines that creates that tapered black. And then here I'm making uh, some of the face. Look at how look at how the how it did the line weights. You can go back and pause the video, but I would bounce the line weights around. Here's Wolverine's uh, sideburns and hair. So work on that convex curve to make that 
hairline smooth, as smooth as you can. The smoother the hair you can create, the better it'll look. Okay, more, more of a Wolverine's fine hair on the inside and then the outside line weights. Now here, this, this character, uh, I'm gonna give him a edgy look. Those are more of a rocky feel, like an ice feel. So I'll give those shape more of a chisel look, more of an angular feel. That way this separates from the hair, from the other characters, kind of sort of like inking uh, rocks and hard textures. So, so while I'm at it, inking the taper lines and I'll fill in all the blacks. And then let me slow down this video so you can see uh, some of the hair. You can pause the video and take a look at how I ink some of the hair. Here we go. Psychos. Now I'm going to go and continue. Once I have all the hair, hair done, I'm going to go and ink all the rest of the heads. So when I'm working on comic book pages, I'll finish all the heads and neck area just to get those out of the way. Once those are done, I'll work on the other, other areas of the character's body. The collar, hair, the neck, the shadow rendering. Get all that out of the way, get all the hard parts out of the way. And then when you're inking the body later, the figure work, uh, you don't have to worry that much about the fine details of the faces, necks, jaw structure, hair, all those details. So put the pin away. I'm gonna pull back the camera so you can see how this page looks with uh, some of the characters' heads. So right now, all the, those ribbons that we did earlier, the heads, all the hair, the face, uh, the jaw, ears, all of that's done. All of this is done. That's the first stage uh, of the figure work. So there you have it. So that was how I ink hair. Uh, one of the habits I have when I'm making hair is I'll, I'll hold my breath because I think that when I'm holding my breath, it keeps my body still. So it's a bad habit that I form. But when you're inking, try not to hold your breath. And then this video was actually sped up, so it was really quick, but in real time, it takes me a little bit longer to ink the hair because I want the hair to be smooth and flowing. So if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll respond to all your questions. Uh, hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, enjoy inking hair. See you later.